In this video, it's day two as we continue our shakedown cruise on our brand new yacht. We have some electrical issues that end up stranding us at our anchorage, but we soon get that sorted and continue on our way. We're island hopping on our shakedown cruise through the Thai Islands. They say love is more precious than gold. We had spent our first night at anchor on the boat on Koh Phai, just a little bit west of Pattaya in Thailand. And it can't be so. How was your first night on the boat? Yes, the first night I slept so well and so fast that I woke up with my clothes on. I, <laughs> I, that's how I know it was really good night's sleep. It's like rocking a baby. I get the best sleep when I'm on the boat. Uh, yeah, same. I slept pretty well. I woke up once in the middle of the night, you know, just new boat, new movements on there. Just woke up, just checked everything. Everything was fine. So I uh, went back to bed. Uh, you can see like the, um, all the, the daytime fishermen came in here and anchored and spent the night. They're all gone. They probably left the first lighter before. And then you got all the squid boats that are pulling in. So those are the nighttime fishermen. And they're pulling in to anchor uh, for the daytime. A lot of times what they do is they don't go back. They have like a mothership that picks up their catch. And then those guys stay out for weeks at a time or so. It's kind of a hard life for those guys. Everybody's kind of working today, uh, getting editing done. We've all got our own channels to edit for. I've got my setup right here on the center island because uh, I got a nice little breeze coming through here. Um, and let's see here, right now the solar panels are making uh, about 2,000 watts of power, which is pretty good. Uh, you know, it's, they're 4,700 watts total, um, but really about the most we can ever expect because it's kind of hazy out there. Most we can ever expect to see is about 3,000 watts uh, just because, you know, something's always in the shade. But I'll bring you down here to the office where Amanda is editing. Uh, it's a bit clustered in here. We oh, need hey. some of the luggage. What's up? How is it editing down here? It's okay. It's, um, location is great, but... You have this nice... Beautiful view. I know, the location is amazing. It's a little rolly, which leads to like a mild discomfort, but you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Yeah. Gotta give the people what they want. Yeah. <laughs> well, luckily I don't get seasick, so I won't have that problem down here probably, I hope. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think you will. Mm -hmm. I'm a little more sensitive than you are. Yep, a little <laughs> bit. All right, well, I'll let you get back to work and then I'm gonna get back to work too. Okay. All right. All right. Well, I'll see you guys uh, in the next clip. Yep. How is your office? Oh my gosh. I've always wanted an office with a view and, and this does not, you can't beat this. No, nope, it's pretty nice. How's the uh, video? So you got to check out her channel, Lost Lauren. Yeah, well, currently I'm, I'm working on, uh, we had our motorcycle adventures, so that's going to be on my channel. I'm really excited about that video, and I'm also found this moment where I want to make a short where we really target an awkward moment with Bobby. <laughs> I'm really enjoying right. this. There's lots of um, awkward moments, so. I oh mean. my god, it's so funny. <laughs> Check it out on my channel. <laughs> and that's, that's a nice uh, office uh, uniform you're wearing, too. Oh my gosh, to wake up this morning and then cook breakfast, like I threw on a bikini, made some breakfast, and it came up and worked. I can't go back to any kind of regular living. This is you. insane. All right, well. All right, back to work. All right. All right, uh, the ladies are down there getting kind of changed into bikinis for sailing. Uh, we're going to get moving here today. So right now we got, it says 9 to 10 knots of true wind speed. We're going to be sailing pretty much dead downwind. So uh, about 16 miles over to Ko Si Chong uh, to hang out there. We'll see what the wind's like out there. But, you know, straight downwind without the proper sails is never a really fast point of sail. So we'll see how long it takes us to go. But uh, going to uh, pull up the mainsail uh, while we're at anchor. Um, it's just kind of easier sometimes and it'll save us time later on. So I'm going to pull up the mainsail and the girls will be up here in a minute to help me. Speak of the devil. I know that was a really quick minute, huh? Yeah. Oh. 
this whole thing? It matches your bikini. It must be a new one. I haven't seen that one before. It's a, I actually got it for Burning Man. Oh. And then I was like, yeah, I might as well wear it on the boat too. It's pretty easy here. So we got the Selden like uh, in-mass furling system and it's all like synchronized and automatic. So basically I just attach the out hull to this powered winch. I'm going to release the main sheets a little bit to make sure that they're not uh, pulling down on the sail. Uh, it goes out because you want to have it nice and slack. And then I come over here and it's all automatic. If you'll go up there, one of the things we're going to change is that right now the switches for the in-mass furling are right here. We're going to put them over here and we're going to put a plexiglass thing right here to look up. Because while well, we do have a camera system to be able to see the main sail, so I can do it from here and look at the B&G and I can watch the sail through the camera system. They're not hooked up yet. Uh, but then it'd also be nice just to be able to look up at the sail and not, because right now you have to go way up here. I mean, I guess I can do it right here and look, but that's kind of inconvenient. I'd like to be able to look a little better. And then, but if I have the switches right here, I can still do it. Because what I don't like doing is using a powered winch and not being, you don't want to look at what the winch is doing. You want to look at what the line it's attached to is doing. Like if it's bound up or something like that, you can rip a cleat out, you can rip anything, you can rip a, you can rip a sail apart. Uh, so you don't want to do that. You want to look what it's doing. So I'm going to have you, Amanda, stand on this side so you can watch the sail as it comes out. Let me know if there's any problems. All right. All right. So I just hold down the button. It's going to beep. Tell me it's about to start moving. There we go. We go the motors i'm gonna turn them on you don't actually start them. i just turn a key and then wait for the computer to boot up and then you guys can uh pull in the anchor down there all righty anchor time <laughs> okay y'all go ahead ladies pull up the anchor <laughs> I told, I told Amanda before, I just want to make sure you know, Lauren, the most dangerous thing on that boat is that windlass. Yeah, because it can... Uh, Cut your hand right off. Well, also, yeah, I have a big fear of the, the chain snapping and whipping a leg nah, off. The chain is unlikely to snap. It's, it's more like if you, get, if you get your hand between that chain and that windlass, it will cut your hand right off. So uh, don't do that. Yeah. yeah. All right, Amanda, go for it. Okay. Speaking like a yeah, danger, go ahead, Amanda, be dangerous. I'll be dangerous. All right. Uh-oh. I still what think we're like... Happen? Huh? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. Uh, hang on, my system just reset. Hang on. Okay. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's rebooting. I feel like a true passenger princess right now. Oh my gosh, right? <laughs> I'm not used to like not working on the boat. It's nice to be here recreationally. I mean, this is kind of the best job in the world. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't feel like we're working. Yeah, it's we are working hard. But. All of your stress kind of melts away on the water, and like I love the rocking of the boat, and we have great music going. I mean. Things are good. <laughs> we do suffer. We do suffer. Oh, I boy. forgot. That's that's kind of our thing. We do that. It sounds like something serious has happened. All right, let's try it again. Okay. Wait, hang on. All right, here we go. Ah, shit! Stop. What the f Really? It seems like every time I go to pull the anchor up, he loses power or like the system shuts down or something. It's a new boat. And that's why we're doing this to like work out the kinks and make sure it's perfect going forward. In this moment, it feels a bit uh, nerve wracking. Yeah, it's expected though. Like we knew we that the boat's not done. Like we knew that we were going to encounter all sorts of technical things. Uh, so they had me reset our house bank system, um, the Roy Powell system, and it's like to do a software update and it's not coming back on. 
And I'm sitting in the corner. I don't know. Uh. Are you wanting food? Is it beer 30? <laughs> <laughs> I learn. Hey, there's either help coming or pirates on the way. I like Holly. that it's only help or pirates. There's no other possibility. Oh, <laughs> I slept with my boss. I think that was the right move. Just being a solo van lifer and solo traveler for so long, even though I'm not solo, that like mentality is still there. Uh, Amanda was so funny. She's like, this is how we know you're from Texas. <laughs> you're like, what do we need to protect ourselves? So like last night I took our little, whatever, the sharpest kitchen knife and I just took it to my cabin just in case because we were surrounded by, like pretty close by like, fleet of boats and so I don't know, just just keep it in consideration how do we protect ourselves if we need to Sorry. I actually gave it way more thought than you may have thought than you may have expected because by the end of the evening I was like okay fire extinguisher is right there <laughs> if anything I'm just gonna use that on them I think a fire extinguisher could be a good weapon there's scissors we just we're unarmed on this journey so like it's like which weapon would you choose? Oh my gosh. What, Bobby? What? I don't have them. Oh, sorry. Wah, wah. Just waiting. It's not, not good timing for our banter. I don't care. It's one of those things you should probably never try to do a software update when you're not in a place where you can get work on it. And I thought about that when he said, hey, try this. And I was like, eh. But I did it anyway. And I shouldn't have. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it's as simple as resetting something on the battery system. I'm able to get access to it now. But, so this is the Roy Powell system in here. It's got five, five kilowatt battery packs and then the controller and the battery monitoring system all in one unit. It's down here. It's kind of like plug and play with your boat. If you, I mean, it's a pretty, pretty good option. Um, there's a link down below if you'd like to check out their stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, the problem is I gotta reset it. And I don't know how yet, I'm waiting on an answer. Well, now we're both passenger princesses. Mm. We may not be uh, pulling anchor as soon as we had anticipated. Yeah, we still need to troubleshoot some things. And by we, I mean, <laughs> I think that's Bobby's job right now. Bobby is actually collaborating with Ron on this right at the moment. Oh God. We should probably go check on him. All right, I got the uh, Roy Powder reboot. Is powered off the entire boat, redid it and it came back on. The only problem is, so we did a reset on the on that earlier um, to get it to recalibrate. And uh, well, yeah, now we're waiting on how to put everything back together. Well, that was, it's, what is it? Occam's razor, the most obvious is probably it. I don't know if that's correctly. I don't know if that's right. But anyway, it's the lot most simple thing. All right, so basically, what we, we were doing, we were doing an update on the system. So you hold down the power button and it reboots the whole system. And then, uh, so then we had to cycle the power on and off to bring it back on. We did, uh, but happens when it reboots, you have, then have to manually go back and turn all the batteries on, which the batteries are off. So any, everything that we were doing right now, before we started bringing up the, the uh, windlass was powered by only the solar panels. So we were pulling in, you know, as many watts as we needed solar uh but then when we tried to pull up the anchor which is probably pulling 1500 2000 watts or more it wasn't able to keep up with it and so everything would go dark so anyway for the roy Powell system all we did was hold down the power button which then turned all the batteries on and now we're good to go so it was the batteries were off it basically <laughs> the batteries were off no way yeah. did you hear that the batteries were off the batteries were off the batteries were off we just had to turn them on. Yeah. So <laughs> now then, let's uh, let's let's try all this again. I got to go upstairs and do some stuff here, but let's see here. <laughs> so now we're charging the batteries at uh, more than 2,000 watts um, from the solar. So and then they should be able to handle the rest of the stuff. All right, let's do it. All right. Let's try this again. <laughs> Third time's a charm. a lot 
lot of chain to like put more weight up front um, to balance the boat um, as a temporary solution because we need to move the batteries, but that's just too much chain. So that's going to be uh, kind of a issue, too much chain, because um, they've got like a hundred and they say 130 meters, I think, of chain, which is a lot. And we probably only need 100 meters, so that last 30 meters is going to be an issue. But uh, we'll just have them cut that off, and because uh, the chain locker is not big enough to hold 100. I mean, 130 meters, you don't need that much. You, if you have that much chain, you can anchor in like 100 feet of water. We're never going to do that. So, anyway, we got it up. Let's. Uh, we already got the main up with sail. Look at the tea shelf. The chain brought up a few of them. <laughs> oh, do. It's actually probably a conch in there. I'll let him go. <laughs> or whatever it is. All right. We did it! Yay! See you, said Wedding! <laughs> Finally underway. Finally underway. There was something in the water that made me go wild. There wasn't much wind, about eight knots, and we were moving with it at six knots, so the apparent wind felt pretty minimal. There was nothing in the world. Even when we're motoring, it still feels like we're sailing because you can't hear the motors running. They're electric. It didn't take the girls long to head up to their new favorite spot, the trampolines. Even when motoring, the boat sure looks pretty out on the water. If you'd like more information about the Island Spirit 525, click the link in the description or head over to sailingdoodles.com. Be sure to tell them you saw it on Sailing Doodles. sense you coming because I was just about to switch positions. How's it going? What do you, what do you think? Oh, it's terrible. Yep, doesn't suck. It doesn't suck. <laughs> Why? <laughs> He's trying to show you guys that I need a pedicure because that's what I was saying. My polish is all chipped off. <laughs> I'm trying to like help you uh, foot guys out. I mean, it's it's really my Paul. I need a pedicure. Don't look. Sign up to her Patreon <laughs> and uh, she'll send you some feet pics. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You need to have a special level for feet pics. Oh my god! If if people really did want feet pics, I mean, I would consider it. No one's ever asked me. Sign up to my Patreon at Sailing Doodles and uh, send me some feet pics. There you go. If you request feet pics, yeah. I mean, we'll we'll read the request. Yeah. <laughs> what we don't have yet? What don't we have? Beer holders. Beer? Couple. I noticed that. Any Beer couple. The Yeti. Yeah, style. yeah the ones We're that both? stick on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're doing six knots, 6.2, around six to six, anywhere from 5.8 to 6.3, depending on the wave. So call it six knots. And we're doing 34 amps of power. Uh, let me do a quick calculation there. We're doing 470 volts. So 470 times 36 is 16, almost 17,000 watts. So 17 kilowatts. And you know, we have a uh, 210 kilowatt battery bank, uh, so, you know, we could go more than 10 hours at six knots uh, just on batteries alone. And uh, right now we have 58% charge, um, so we could run our jet, we can, we can easily get there, no problem. I mean, we'll still have at least probably 40% of our battery when we get there, and then we'll run the generator for a bit to recharge everything and the house bank and all that, and we should be good to go. Now we're downwind, and the wind's a lot less. It's like eight knots of wind right now, nine knots. But 
that's really not enough to sail with the, if you don't have a spinnaker. If we had a spinnaker right now, we'd put our spinnaker out. We do have a spinnaker, but we don't have the proper hardware for it yet. Um, but so when we get the spinnaker, we'd be perfect right now doing 10 knots of breeze on the spinnaker. We'd be doing five knots downwind. But with the sail configuration we have, 10 knots downwind, we have a smaller main and a smaller jib. I mean, we do it like three and a half, four knots and take forever to get there. So we're just motoring. Motor sailing, we got the main up. So, and we're kind of straight downwind. So we're, we're at uh, 170 degrees true wind angle. So we can't put the jib out because the main is blocking the jib. So it is what it is. I mean, you end up, people that are purists like, oh, you don't sail enough. Like you motor half the time when you're on a boat, at least. That's just the way it is. They say love is more precious than gold It can't be bought and it can't be sold I got love Once we got close to our destination, we decided to unfurl the jib and just cruise slow the rest of the way. All right, we're like two miles from our destination. And so I thought we'd just sail the rest of the way. We're only doing three knots, but uh, like I said, it would only be about three knots, but whatever. It's nice and relaxing. I mean, there's no engine noise, obviously, but there's still like, you can hear the whir of the motors when we're under motor, but under sail is pretty nice and calm. Meanwhile, <clears throat> us girls, we're just uh, editing and working away because of the implications. <laughs> <laughs> The whole purpose of buying the boat in the first place was to get the ladies nice and tipsy topside so we can take them to a nice, comfortable place below deck and, you know, they can't refuse because of the implication. She just said that. I love it. I, uh, <laughs> I showed him the uh, implications video uh, the other day. Oh, uh, okay. You had me go on there for the first part. The second half kind of threw me. Well, dude, dude, th think about it. She's out in the middle of nowhere with some dude she barely knows. You know, she looks around her. What does she see? Nothing but open ocean. Ah, uh, there's nowhere for me to run. What am I going to do? Say no. Hey. I mean, I, I'm not saying anything. He, he's not making us I'm work, not making but any we want to work because of the implications. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay. That, <laughs> that seems really dark. No, no, it's not dark. You're misunderstanding me, bro. I'm, okay. I'm, I think I am. Yeah, you are. Because if the girl said no, then the answer obviously is no. No. But the thing right. is, is she's not going to say yeah. no. She would never say no because of the implications. Right. <laughs> uh, that's so good. <laughs> But it sounds like she doesn't want to have Why sex. Why aren't you with understanding you? this? I don't, she she doesn't know whether she wants to have sex with me. It's that she doesn't know. That's not know. the issue. Are you going to hurt be, women? I'm not going to hurt oh, these women. Okay. Why would I ever hurt these women? I, don't know. I feel like you're not getting this at all. I'm at not all. getting it. God damn. Well, don't you look at me like that. You certainly wouldn't be in any danger. So they are in danger. No one's in any danger. How can I make that any more clear to you? Okay? It's an implication of danger. You know what? Just drop it. Let's drop, drop it. it. You're not getting Let's buy your shit and let's get out of here. All right, Amanda, I'm gonna turn this around and pull into Maine. Uh, you wanna tell me when it's in? You yes. know what I mean? Oh. I will tell you when it's in. Oh. I think you'll know. I, when it's in. I. Sometimes I have earmuff moments where I just start, I've just learned to keep putting my headphones back in. around Kosi Chong is a major hub for bulk carriers and barges, but it's still a pretty place. Almost there, just like uh, half a mile, we're just going around the corner. We're home. So we're just gonna anchor right on the other side of this old abandoned pier, oh. and then we'll use the part of that to go into shore later. Yeah. 
I found a spot close to shore, and Amanda dropped the anchor. That made me I reversed to set the anchor and then went down to show the ladies how to attach the bridle. We are here. Oh. Welcome. Good job, Cap. <laughs> We're here, Lauren's lost. I'm just kidding. Lost Lauren, go follow her on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Appreciate do you know what time it is? Here. Beer 30! There you go. Wow, Lauren's so good at that game. All you right. know what, you should have a koozie for merch 30. that says Beer 30. Beer 30. People. Yeah. If they right. want it, comment if you want it. All right, we'll do it. We need him. All right, then, and also we need a, a koozie that says, I'm sorry for what I said while docking the boat. Ah, uh, it's actually pretty. <laughs> All right, okay. Don't get angry. Listen to It was our second anchorage of the trip. It still felt pretty surreal being on our own catamaran cruising around Thailand. I'm way back around. And I've got the answers. Go on and touch my skin. Them better days always come back again. I used the drone to scope out the place we were planning to head for dinner. It's life's a boat boy. It all I thought it was pretty interesting. Some of these boats have been turned into homes or Airbnbs. Oh, her laughter and sweet mistakes. I wasn't loved well as a younger child So I pray these better unstable days they stay a while Alright, we are going to go ashore over here to this little place that has the lights. Uh, we're going to go to the abandoned dock or whatever that thing is and uh, take the dinghy. Is it okay that I'm wearing an Oregon shirt in Thailand? I don't have, everything else is in storage and I just wanted to be more modest. I'm I sure so, like, all the Oregon people will be very offended. So. <laughs> all right, you ready? Let's do this. Go. Shotgun! Don't get hateful or hot down. There's a fire burning in the back for him, still finding out who the hell I am. And I'm so tired. It's our first time loading up with a dinghy to head ashore. Gonna find the time to realize. We're going to come in over here on the leeward side of this little uh, abandoned, like, ruined dock. Oh, that's there. Oh, 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 fucker! Oh. God! That was a rock. Yeah. All right. Okay, so we're going to look ahead. Gosh, Glad yeah. That one, that, that one, too. Oh, shoot. They're, like, yeah, real shallow right there. You can really only go, like, close right there. to where we yeah. were. Yeah, we can land right there. That's going to be fine. Okay. We found a place to beach the dinghy and get on land. There you go. That was so sweet. You tried so hard and wound up getting burned. So don't get hateful or hot down. There's a fire burning in the back for him, still finding out who the hell I am. It was only a five minute walk to the restaurant. You can't ask for anything better than this. Fresh Thai food, and we were in heaven. 
There's a fire burning in the back 40 And they're trying to change the man I am This food's a little, food's a little spicy <laughs> um, But I like it How are you guys doing? Oh, it's good right. Better right, now well, Cheers to our first night at <laughs> Cool yeah, that's hot. Ooh. Uh, here's our first night adventuring out from the boat, cruising around. Cozy Chong. Cozy Chong. Here we are. I've never known quite what I deserve. After a nice meal, we headed back to the boat. We were saving and exploring the island for the next morning. Love getting burned. So don't get hateful. Now it's even more of a success. First try. We're not going to die. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure you're subscribed to the channel to catch our videos as we continue to shake down this brand new Island Spirit 525E as we sail Thailand. We've been giving our patrons and channel members a lot of extra bonus content lately, including some exciting news. So even if you've been a patron in the past, please consider rejoining and get lots of updates like this.